Hello, I'm Joe aka Mr. Fragrance and today I'm going to be talking about a brand new release and that is Armani Code Eau de Parfum. So it's an exciting release from Armani. It is brand new, it's a 2021 release and it is being marketed by, you've guessed it, L'Oreal. This does mean that it will probably be out for about two weeks before being discontinued but Hopefully the community can enjoy it whilst it lasts. In all seriousness though, Armani Code Eau de Toilette did come out in 2004, so it has been a long time. Maths, maths, maths. 16 years, coming on for 17 years since it was released, and that has taken them that long to recreate their most special baby, the one that started it all, the one that started this line before all the flankers came along, and they're making it better. They are upgrading it. And here we go. So, is it going to be similar? Yes, we're starting the top notes with a little bit more citrus. We've got the mandarin as well as the bergamot that you had before. We also have the lemon, which is carried through from the eau de toilette. The rosemary, the lavender will all be carried through into this new fragrance as well. But the difference is, to make an eau de parfum, it needs to be stronger. It's going to have more oils in it. And I think that this mainly comes from the base notes. In the Eau de Toilette we have the Tonka Bean, whereas in this Eau de Parfum we have Tonka Bean Absolute. That could be one major improvement because Tonka Bean is going to be a hell of a projection. That is going to really add a solid depth to the bottom of this fragrance and it's going to remain hopefully for a very long time. Alongside that we'll have this, you know, the woodiness of the cedarwood. We'll have hopefully a touch of sweetness from the vanilla. In fact, Possibly even more sweetness in this new fragrance, I'm predicting, because generally that's what's happened. When you have these flankers come out, they like to be a little bit more sweet, possibly just to wow people, just to catch the crowd, get it in, make sure people are buying these fragrances, because you know what, people love sweet fragrances, that's just what it is. This is meant to be appealing to the masses rather than us freaks that like the, the, more, the more eccentric fragrances, let's call it. There's possibly going to be musk in there as well, I think. The musk will... Uh, just a possible touch of depth again. It's there's not going to be much musk because again that's that's quite um that's it's quite a challenging thing to deal with for again the masses. Um, but no, I think it's going to be an exciting release. I'm looking forward to seeing people review it um on YouTube. Will I buy it? I don't think so. I don't think I'll be buying it immediately. I've got this bottle and it's enough for me. I only got it very recently. Talking about the bottle, the bottle is going to be very similar to the rest of the bottles except it will be a gold top. Will I be getting it? No, not right now at least. I did just say, you know, I, I got this bottle very recently. It's enough for me right now. It's I, I like the fragrance. I do really like it. I think it's very interesting. It's a little bit more eccentric than what I thought it would be. Um, and I like the sweetness. I like the, uh, the the citrus top notes. I just like its combination of, of different things. I think it is quite a smart fragrance and I think it's a very appealing fragrance, something that will work well in many situations. But if the Eau de Parfum version is anything like this, I don't think I will be getting it just because it's the same as this, it's a little bit stronger and it's not a fragrance that I'm gonna be wearing too often. I am interested in seeing it though and I am excited to see people get it and if it, you know, if it's something very, very different to what I've predicted, then you know what, maybe it's going to be something I have to get. We'll wait and see, but do put down in the comments what you think and what you expect from it and if you already have it, because the prices are so all over the place right now when I'm looking at it, between 60 to over $100 for it and in many places don't even have it in stock yet. So let me know in the comments if you've got it, if you want to get it, what you're thinking about. And hopefully I will be able to do a video on it at some point, even if it's just a little tester. So thank you for watching and please do like, subscribe to the channel and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. I look to be doing more of these videos in the future so I can keep you updated on the new releases. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on Mr. Fragrance.